Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about BGP attributes. Let's get into the concept. The first attribute of BGP is a weight, and this is a Cisco proprietary. It can be used only in the Cisco devices. Let's consider the routers over here. Okay. Then Okay. This is the AS1 and this is AS number 2. Let's consider this router in AS1 wants to reach any network. Um, it needs to choose this path that is the path in the top router that is the first router it needs to choose this path then we can use the weight over here the weight can be configured between the different AS or within the AS, that's not an issue in terms of weight. It can be configured either for the external AS or within the internal AS. Let's consider we are using a value of 500 over here, and here we are just using a value of 100. So, what happens is that it chooses the path with the 500 since weight gives a priority to a higher uh, value. So automatically the traffic will be shifted to this router because of the higher weight. So but the weight configured in the router will only be locally there in the particular data. It will not be advertised uh, between the routers. That is this information will not be shared uh, to this router that is between the AS or it will not even shared with this router that is within the AS. So it is only be locally within the router. This is what is about a weight. Next is about a local preference. Local preference is a second attribute of BGP. It can be configured um, between the AS. That is, it needs to be com uh, configured between the different AS. And it is not a Cisco proprietary. It is an open standard. It can be configured between any routers. Let's consider here as the same setup over here and this belongs to one AS and here this belongs to another one AS. So let's consider it needs to choose the same path this path it needs to choose so automatically we are giving a higher priority local preference value of 700 over here and here we are giving a value of 300 or something we are giving a value of 300 so automatically it chooses a value of 700 so higher the local preference value is being preferred as compared to the offer lower value so here what happens is that uh, the router that has been configured with local preference value shares the local preference value to its internal BGP neighbors. So uh, in this case we have configured the router with local preference value of 700 here. In this router we have configured this. Let's consider this as R1. So this information that is 700 and 600 information will automatically be shared with its neighbors within the uh, AS number one all the routers within the AS number one will have this information of 700 and 600 local preference value for a particular prefix that it needs to reach so this is what a weight and local preference is about weight will only be locally within the router it will not share between the EBGP or IBGP neighbors that is between the external or internal neighbors but the local preference will share its local preference value to its uh, internal neighbors that is within the same AS it will share the information the third attribute is origin let's see uh, origin is it gives a higher priority with a next stop of 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 let's consider here as um, let's consider the same case over here and if you are having a, any particular network, let's consider you are having a value of um, 
1.1.1.1 and the same value is being configured over here as 1.1.1.1 if this is the case so the router will automatically uh, choose this value 1.1.1.1 over here the reason behind this is that it has been locally originated and the locally originated value only will have an extra address of 0.0.0.0, .0 while this routers 1.1.1 that is being in this AS will have a next stop of this uh, AS number. This AS next stop IP. This word will be shown in the next stop. The locally originated routers will have its own interface IP next stop as 0.0.0.0. .0 to make it simple, it will highly prefer its own originated routes as compared to that of a routes that is being received from the other end. That's what the origin is about. Next is about a uh, AS path. AS path is a fourth attribute of BGP, and the shorter the AS path will be uh, preferred. Let's consider over here as here one, two, three, and four. Let's consider this four AS. Sorry, four routers and each router belongs to a particular AS. Here AS1, AS2, AS3 and AS4. And you are having a prefix with over here as consider 4.4.4.4 slash 32. And this is our prefix that we are advertising in the AS number 4. So what will this value will be seen in AS1 as by default? It will be seen as 4.4.4.4. We need to reach a particular prefix. The prefix value over here is 4.4.4.4 through AS2, AS2, then AS3, then AS4. So, this is how the AS path works. So, it will be shown for this particular network, we need to go through the AS2, 3, 4, and then we need to reach this particular network. So this is what a uh, AS path is all about. The shorter the AS path will be preferred as compared to that of a uh, uh, longer the AS path. If this particular prefix is again being advertised with, uh, let's consider if you are having a 5, 8, then 9, then the one with the lower shortest AS path will be preferred as compared to that of a longer AS path. This is what is about a uh, AS path. And uh, next is about a uh, origin code. Origin code is a fifth attribute. Uh, there are two main uh, origin codes that are used nowadays is internal and redistributed. That is incomplete, they will represent. Um, consider the same example. If this particular network is being advertised manually by using a network command that we are advertising it manually. If you are advertising this with a network command means it will be shown as i that is if you need to reach this network it need to go via as 2 3 4 and this i represents as it is been a uh, manually advertised so this is highly preferred it is been advertised manually this was what our uh, eyes uh, represented next is about our question mark that is redistributed so what happens is that we will do a redistribution over here. If we instead of uh, using a network command, if we redistribute this particular network, it will be represented here as a question mark. So this is what a, a redistributed network. That is the incomplete means. There are two forms of origin code, internal and external. So this is what origin code is all about. Next is about a metric. Metric is a sixth attribute of BGP and it has to be configured uh, between the AS. Let's consider over here as K and here and this is our all this three belongs to one particular network for particular AS. Let's consider we need to reach this network. 
uh, this belongs to k if he needs to reach this 4.4.4.4 from this router from this router we need to reach this it can be manipulated with the help of a metric here uh, if a weight local preference all seems to be the same next you choose the metric since uh, since it's the sixth attribute so what happens is here is that we need to configure a metric between this as the one with that lower metric will be preferred let's consider we are having a metric value over here as 700 and metric value over here as 400 so what happens is that this router will seize the metric value between these two routers and it automatically chooses the value with the um, neighbor with a lower metric so automatically the traffic will goes via this router in order to reach a particular prefix so this is what a metric is about but metric will be used only when the metric is being configured uh, for a network within the same AS that is let's consider here as this entire thing belongs to AS2 suppose if you are having your other router if it needs to reach here let's consider the AS number over here is 3 let's consider this belongs to AS number 3 if this also advertises a metric in order to reach this 4.4.4.4 slash 32 with a better metric or um, with some other metric over here what will be the metric let's consider if you are having a 200 or something it will not does a metric attribute in, it will not take a metric attribute into an account uh, and the reason is it will choose us only for a particular uh, metric within the AS that is if it needs to reach this network it needs to come within the same AS these two neighbors or belongs to the same AS so automatically it chooses a metric it can um, it considers the metric to be as a valid if it is from a different AS it will not consider a metric to be as a valid uh, attribute and since and if you want to make sure that metric is the only option metric only needs to be configured and this is the case you can also do that by using always compare met that's one method that we can do then it will choose the metric within the different AS also this is what a metric is all about uh, next is about a path path is a uh, seventh attribute if all the six uh, attributes seems to be the same next it chooses a path that is a seventh attribute the path is mainly based on the uh, ad values let's consider if you are having a uh, value let's consider you are having a value with 4.4.4.4 over here and this 4.4.4.4 is being configured at the same time over here 4.4.4.4 with here and the same value 4.4.4.4 slash 32 is being configured within the AS and automatically this router will choose this value instead of this value the reason here is that BGP will prefer external BGP routes for a particular prefix as compared to the top of internal uh, BGP path. The reason is the AD value of eBGP is 20 as compared to the top of internal BGP value is 200. This is what a path is about. Next is about a router ID. If everything seems to be the same from the attribute number 1 to 7, everything seems to be the same, then the final option will be the router ID. The one with the lowest router ID will be the uh, successor so automatically the traffic will be given to the one with the lowest router ID this is what a BGP attribute is all about I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any queries or questions regarding this just give a comment in the next question we discuss about uh, BGP states